Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, I've been away on reservice for a couple of weeks, hence uh, nothing from me. And it appears that I've come back to finding out that the SMO results have just been released. So uh, before anyone asks, uh, I've included the URL in the description below. The URL for the Singapore Math Society has been recently changed. So uh, if you can't seem to find it at the old link, uh, I've included it at the description below. The other thing, if you are waiting for your results on um, gold, silver, bronze, honorable mention, uh, that is up to your school teachers. Just bug them, chase them, uh, or maybe they just want to do it in a nice ceremony for you. So uh, if you're still waiting for that, uh, it has been released to the schools. Uh, and the school sometimes will need a bit of time to sort it out or find a suitable occasion to announce it. So that is not the results that is on the website. Uh, that is um, to individual schools and the results on the website are just the top 30 awards. So there are just a few comments I feel like I have to make. Uh, and firstly, congratulations to everyone who made it into the top 30. Uh, of course, this does not mean non-congratulations to everyone who did not make the top 30. But if you made it, congratulations. I mean, it is always an achievement. I have to say that uh, one of the things which I think I did not do as a student often enough was just to be thankful uh, and just to be kind of happy with a result. Look, uh, many of you, if let's say that you personally um, or if you know someone who has taken the SMO for a number of years, look at the results. You're going to see a lot of uh, familiar names, especially for senior and open. You're going to see some of your friends or yourself. Uh, you're going to see that you have gone up in the rankings, you have gone down in the rankings. Someone that was not in the top 30 entered the rankings. Someone who was previously in the top 10 or top 30 is not in the rankings. Be aware that the SMO is inherently not a very large sample size. It does not indicate who is so-called the best in Singapore. There's something else I want to uh, mention. It's just a statistical note, right? So uh, if we were to just do a quick scan through, now, I do not know every one of you, and I also do not know every one of the students here. And for those who are my students and I know their score, I'm not going to dox them or tell everyone what they scored. Furthermore, round two is only a guess anyway. What I'm going to say is just that there are a lot, a lot of ties. If you were to just look at the left column, First of all, um, the top 10 is not reviewed, right? But in this case, there are 12 names, let's say for junior. That means that at minimum, 10, 11, and 12 is a tie. Now count the number of unique rankings from there onwards. So if let's say you have 10, 10, 10, that's one, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 17, 17, 19, 19, 19, 22, 22, 24, 25, 25, 27, 27, 29, 29, 29. That is 12 unique rankings. From the past, uh, and this is sort of just a statistical thing, if you will, it is very rare that there are ties, but then there are scores that are skipped. If there are 12 unique rankings from 10th to 30th, that probably means that there are only going to be 13 or 14 unique scores. In other words, the gap between 10th place and 30th place is about 13 or 14 points. That's even more extreme for, let's say, um, senior. If we just count the number of unique rankings, it's probably about 10 points. And if you count open, that's even more extreme. You see that it starts at 14. So there are probably four people tied for 10 or maybe five people tied for ninth. And then you see 14, 15, 17, 21, 26. 
it is entirely possible that 10th place and 26th place, which is basically all the way to the end of the top 30, are separated by five points. Of course, one question in round two is worth 10 points. You probably don't really need a, a math teacher or you don't need to be an SMO winner to be able to tell that therefore the gap is really small. Please do not, um, if let's say that your rankings have gone down, think that you've gotten worse. If anyone else, teachers, friends, family, tries to suggest that, oh, you have gotten lousier, you dropped in ranking by 10 places or 15 places, please do not take that to heart. Uh, there is too much of this kind of gossip. The gaps are really small. And that is the nature of how the SMO was this year, right? For round two. There were easy questions that almost everyone did. There were hard questions that almost nobody did. And therefore, everyone's got roughly the same thing. And it became just, did you write something wrongly? And did you mess up round one? Otherwise, everyone got extremely bunched together. Now, the other side of it is just that if you have gone up the rankings a lot, congratulations and please be happy. But know yourself whether you think you have actually improved. I know that I personally made the mistake last time of uh, taking it as when I placed first in the SMO, I was really the best person and that was probably not true. Uh, I've also made the mistake of when my ranking went down that I've gotten worse, which is not true. So know yourself, make a proper self-assessment and just ignore all the noise that you have around you. It's okay to kind of throw each other a little bit, uh, joke about how um, you failed miserably or how you just uh, magically got elevated a lot. But also please be kind to one another. Please be considerate because uh, there are definitely going to be some of your friends who are disappointed with how the results have gone. Now, finally, just a practical note of advice, right? What all of these statistics suggest is that if you would like to give yourself a good chance at making the top 30, your focus is going to be henceforth, identify easy questions by round two standards and do them reliably, plus do very well for round one. On the other hand, if you want to be able to guarantee a better result, you just really need to do one harder question that most others cannot. Now we cannot guarantee that you can do that one hard question, but if you want to enter the top 30, just make sure you can reliably do easier questions and you are careful. If you would like to enter into the top 10 or into the top few, Take the time to really try hard questions. That means IMO shortlist. That means IMO itself. That means APMO. Uh, and I'll have a video up soon regarding some of the other contests that you can try. Don't stop at the easier questions. If you keep on doing easier questions, you will reliably be able to do the easier questions. But that doesn't allow you to have a chance to make that step up, which clearly, based on the statistics we have at hand, it seems that many of you are bunched together pretty closely. Okay, so it's just my thoughts. Um, feel free to take the comment section uh, as a space to um, discuss, ask questions, um, compare notes on potential cutoffs. But again, uh, please be considerate. Uh, one of the things that we often fail at, at in the math community is just that uh, we don't really look out for each other that much. Okay, so please, once again, I just would like to ask that you be considerate. But also, if you've done well, enjoy it. Because uh, it doesn't mean that, oh, I got first place, I got fifth place in an easy year or a hard year, therefore it is a fluke. Any result is always commendable, so do enjoy it. Okay, so this is just a bunch of random thoughts that I have. No math in this video, the math will come again soon. But in the meantime, uh, give yourself a nice breather if you can now that the SMO season is well and truly over.